there is uh well actually let me ask you a question do you think that um that drive could be like taught or could be like yeah do you know what i mean yeah like, i know what you mean man some people have it some people don't have it it's like mm. you know i don't know what what are your thoughts there yeah i, th I think uh i think everybody has it they just haven't tapped into it Okay. I think there's a possibility that people um, haven't had the opportunity to get around others to learn the the tools and the strategies that it takes to get yourself into a position where you actually want to fucking move for yourself and not for others. Okay. And I think that comes from um, understanding personal values, right? I, I feel like you know, one of the things that was really powerful for me that we always take our team through and our students go through this a lot as well, right? It's like looking at your values, looking at your past values. Okay, well, if you're at home right now, you can do this quick exercise. It's like, take a piece of paper, ask yourself, what did I value five years ago? And just write down as many things as you can quickly, right? So like when I do this exercise, I look at that and I'm like, well, I valued, you know, being the center of attention, I valued being able to throw the best party, right? I valued knowing the DJs and being behind the DJ fucking booth with the bottle of tequila and being seen there. It's ridiculous to say now, but like that was the version of me. I valued uh, looking successful, even though I wasn't doing that well financially, it looked like I was because I was uh, everywhere all the time. So it's like the perception value and then on the other side of the piece of paper, you want to write down what are the values of the version of you you want to see in five years from now, right? So you think to yourself, well, where do I want to be in five years? Okay, well, I want to do X financially. I want to do X with my family. You know, I want to do X contribution to your church or your, your um, foundations or whatever you want to do. I want to be in X shape, right? I want my blood work to come back to certain levels on certain things, cholesterol down, testosterone up. You know what I mean? Like that's where I want to be. Okay. So now I see these two super different versions. This is the old me. That's for real because I remember that guy and there they are. This is the version I want to become and I'm working towards. And so now when I look at that, if you go into like a visualization meditation type of a state and you see that version of you, it's like, okay, well, how does this guy stand? How does he walk into a room? What does his fucking bank account look like? How does he treat people around him? How is he serving the community, the team, the students? How, how does his wife look at him? How do the kids perceive him? Is he a leader for the family? Okay. That's how that guy is. Those are the values. That's the human. If you want to become that fucking guy, there's no goddamn way you're sleeping in and eating fucking potato chips. What you're doing is you're getting up and going for a run or a walk or something, and you're like putting down some creatine and going to the gym and eating protein and reading fucking three books and getting your ass to work and getting inside a system where you can generate massive amounts of income for you and your family and the people around you, and then put that into smart places, all the while, you know, increasing your physical presence in all ways, mentally, spiritually, um, emotionally, right? Tapping into your inner wisdom. It's like the more you want to move towards this person with those values, that gives you the fucking drive. So I feel if people don't have the drive, I don't think that they don't know who they want to be. I think down deep when they're sleeping at night and they look up at the, at the, at the ceiling when they're in bed, they think, fuck, it'd be nice to be a little bit thinner man, I wish I had a bit more money. It'd be really cool to treat my parents to a holiday. My daughter has ballet tomorrow, but I don't get to go to it because I got to go to a job I hate. Wish I, had a, wish, wish I had some freedom. Start thinking all these things and all you have to do is go a little bit further and think, well, okay, well, what version of me can make that shit come true? There's your drive. Get up in the morning, build a fucking plan. Napoleon Hill, right? Success takes a plan. It's one of his favorite quotes. It's like, yeah, build a plan towards the version you want to be. There's your drive. But if you don't do the work, you don't know it. So if you don't know it, you're sort of in limbo land and you get caught up in social media and the news and all these current events and you just sort of get sucked into this, this sort of monotonous, repetitive thing where you just stay the old version of you. And that just becomes normal and we're creatures of habit. So you fall into these habits. So I think everyone has the drive. They just have to tap into their future version 
and build a plan around it and understand that it is possible to get there. If other people did it, you can do it. This guy was fat. Now he's ripped. This lady, you know, couldn't have kids. Now she has four kids. This guy was broke. Now he's rich, whatever people can get there. If they can get there, you can get there, build a plan that'll drive you. But again, doing the work internally to know that that's the first step. And I think that's the step that a lot of people, if they say they don't have drive, they're procrastinating, they're putting things off. I just feel like they've missed that first little step there. And I feel like that's an easy step, but not unless you have a mentor, a coach, a community around you, people to drive you and push you and sort of educate you in these ways. You know, that's what it did for me.